Hello, welcome back. Last time I came to the vest. Solved two rooms in it. One was an awkward mimic pushing thing. Uh, one was a platform puzzle with gel that actually wasn't too bad. So I seem to be on, like, the outside of this place. Yeah, the inside is pretty small, seemingly. There's a target here. I guess there was a seep on it. <laughs> the little things I notice. Uh, oh, boy. Seep on trapdoors with roach queens. Should I look around before I just pick a room? I'm going to look around before I just pick a room. Get a sense of the scope of this place. Wubbas. Those are pretty cool sometimes. Rock golems. Ooh, two, three rock golem, four rock golems. Boy, they're camouflaged around all this orange furniture that's the exact same color as them. Looks like a monster maze of some sort. Rock giants, gel gro uh, tar growing. <laughs> Feels like I rarely say the correct type of tar stuff on my first try. Uh, this looks silly and kind of fun. All right, there's a, uh, is there a way to go south? No, that's a return trip possibly from a secret room. So be watching for things to the south. Perhaps from here? Not from there, that's nothing. Hmm. There's no disarm token in this room that I can see. How suspicious. This seems like it's something. Okay. Whoa, that stalwart is here. Come on, let's go get those serpents, man. Yeah, let's do this. No, you can't just charge right them, right at them, like... Ah, never mind. So those guys get killed by serpents. I don't believe I have ever seen a serpent kill a soldier or a stalwart before. It looks kind of weird. It's almost like they eat them like an adder. Huh. I'm probably wrong, but I can't think of a time when I ever saw that. Alright, so I see exactly how to do this. Uh, kind of. Yeah, that's... F hmm. This is going to be a little bit weird for the second serpent, actually, and the first one, too. So I couldn't help those two. Uh, obviously, I need a serpent head here, heading uh, with some serpent body segment here, and something needs to stand on that. So for the first one of these... Okay, so this one's easy enough, although I have to stand there for a while, so I can only shorten that a little bit. Oh, you're helping me. Thank you. So as I was saying, for the first one of these, a serpent can potentially help. But the second one, even under a vertical preference situation, which is now, you're not going to continue. You are going to continue north. I forgot how preferences worked. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> hmm. Too bad I wasn't able to save those guys. I'm pretty sure there was nothing I could have done, but who knows? Uh, okay, at this point, I disagree. So it looks like we have a challenge. Challenge situation. The challenge would be enter from here. They resurrect magically. Oh dear, you want me to babysit these two this whole time? <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. Oh no. Oh, I killed one myself. Uh oh. You sure about this? This sounds, like, supremely unfun as a challenge. Uh... Huh... I'll fiddle with it for a moment. Uh... I'm not a fan of this. If I'm interpret- maybe I'm interpreting it wrong, somehow. You stop that. You stop that. No. Quit it. Come to me. It Is this possible? Maybe B throws right? The way that's written makes me strongly suspect he's not, though. But how do I convince a very insistent stalwart to not charge toward the monster he's so interested in? And aren't monsters more interested in stalwarts and soldiers than Bithro? Let's see. So if I started there, did about what I did there, but faced my sword north. So I'm going to convince serpent face to come over here if I wait one what happens that happens if I go no you're see I need you to be a little farther away uh, 
I cannot convince that serpent not to eat that stalwart. Soldier stepped in f right in front of its head. <laughs> well, he wanted a backswipe. That was where his sword was. This is pretty dumb. <laughs> I don't really like this. Uh, it's. Pr <laughs> I should probably just listen to Bethro. Uh, I'm gonna try a little more for some reason though. Don't go there, stalwart. Find someplace else to be. There we go. That's something. Not quite. Soldier's gonna die. And I'm going to kill him. Uh... No, there's no way. There's no way. Is there a... Can I tell if there's a challenge here? How do I see challenges? There are no challenges in this hold. If it's anything, it's optional dialogue. Um... I'm going to opt not to mess with that. And just clear the room this way. Too bad I wasn't able to save those guys. I'm pretty sure there was nothing I could have done, but who knows. Hmm. I suspect with some incredible fiddling and stalwart, um, whatever, soldier manipulation, I could have maybe saved them, but I don't know. I don't know enough about their exact behavior they're pretty aggressive. There are two of them and only one of me to prevent both of their deaths. Yeah, two serpents, two friendlies, only one of me. That seems pretty unlikely. Open format room. Nowhere to, like, get them trapped or anything. But there may be a trick to it. Is there, like, a spider in here or something? There is. That looked very much like a spot where a spider would hang out. Okay, so I think that's how vast the vast is. Hold on, what are these two? Uh, those are rooms. And there are more ways I've uh, not gone. This looks like a pretty cool level. Hmm, Tharma Gel. Uh, right, so here's something. Ugh. I do see a trapdoor gate, but I also see a easily stabbable seep. What? So that's probably just a fake out. Like, okay, you really want to drop all the trapdoors you can, but you can also just stab the thing if you want. Unless there's some hidden constraint, so like I have to enter the room here and never come over this way or something. That's very possible with this layout. Oh boy, I'm worried about that room. Uh, shallow water and stuff. This looks actually like a neat little constraint puzzle sort of thing. Make bridges to the things you need to kill. That might be fun. Uh, you're almost secret access, but not quite. That's deep water. All these little hints at... Oh, he says it again. <laughs> yeah! Author really wants me to attempt to save those two, but no, I will not. <laughs> uh, this is the same shape as that door up there, but I don't think that means anything. Just, that's how the mirrors are provided to me. Build bridges. Um, let's look in these two rooms, then I'm gonna do this one. Whoa, there's a whirlpool here. That's unusual. With a spider hiding in it. Citizens, that's also unusual. <laughs> At least a little bit. Scroll. Those are pretty common. Huh? What's going on over there? Something seems to be dropping spiders in the center there, uh, over there at regular intervals. I don't feel like regular intervals is a phrase Bethro would use. Uh, I guess I'll have to find some way to plug up that portal. The only thing I can see that fits the bill is the rock giant, however. I guess that'll have to do. Watch out. The rift ahead is a monster dump from no air. Oh, we're working on fixing it, but uh, for now, just give it a wide berth. Okay. So no air. Confirmed to be a place that has monsters and wants to get rid of them. Okay, I explored those last two rooms. I'm going to stick with my plan. Go over here and try this room. Does he say... Uh, he does say that thing again every single time I enter that room. <laughs> uh. So if any, any if anyone knows whether it is possible to save those or not, feel free to let me know. I don't think I'm going to bother doing it, but it's interesting. You look like the most remote roach. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Minimum of six bridge segments to get to you. Hold on, is that true? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, minimum of six. So I have at least one of those has to be part of you. And to get to you is a minimum of two. And I have to already... Sp no, I can smash this and not spend any of him yet. <laughs> That's a weird way to think about things. Uh, wait, but I want to smash that. Uh, I still can. That's a fine place for that. Uh, I also have to bridge here. Hold on. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a... F is that a fine route? No, because I can't move a mirror from here. Yes, I can. I can move it here. That's fine. I can face this way, step there, and that'll push... Th okay, that's fine. So I guess I'm assuming those are mirrors, though. Um, do this. Uh, that's gonna... No, that doesn't kill me. That's fine. Now, routing you to where you need to... Well, sure, I can go here myself, of course. And then, like... Stab that there. That sounds okay. Actually, I might be able to get some more golems here. In convenient places. Uh, yeah, here's one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have plenty of resources here. Sure. Doesn't look too likely that I could get one there, so that's going to have to be a mirror. I believe this... Yeah, if I smash something here, that's a mirrorable path. I learned that one two one two sort of pattern. Uh, there's a golem kind of in my way. I'd love to smash him there, and I think maybe I can? Uh... Mm. I no longer think that. And in fact, I can't get around him now. Hey, there's a spider here. Well, aren't you sneaky? One, two, three. I need this guy to get to that spider. I didn't know there was a spider there. Hmm. What does that imply? I mean... Hmm. Hmm. It's possible I need to bring one of these mirrors over here and use it as a golem obstacle. I needed to spend both of those. I needed something there, certainly. Oh, this is bad. This needs to be here to move mirrors across in a straight line. Yeah, that's a problem there. Okay, so, and also I have some other problems. Uh, so they were pretty easy to move into place. I can't use you. You're not a resource I have. Oh. I mean, I can make a bridge with you, but I don't see how that doing me any good. So really, I just have eight things. And now that I can reevaluate, I need to fill one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces. Something's wrong then. There is no way to get this mirror unless I can use part of my stuff to get toward my goals, which I can't. This is all deep water. This is not anywhere near close enough to this to make a useful bridge. So, I'm missing something. There are two spiders there. I use my spider vision to see them. Uh, I see that there's this little path, but that doesn't help me. Does it? All right, clouds, go. So hang on, one, two, three, four. Hey, look at this. I can, wait, no, that's deep water. Four, five. Okay, so another implication of this is that I can stab the golem from there and spend nothing to get here. Yes, so I lose one piece of him. All right, so that's how I save one thing. I can stab there go around, bring his pieces around, and if I can manipulate them just right, get them where they need to go without having to spend the two mirrors to stab this. So this is perhaps a small red fish. Um, so with that, hang on, let, let, let me count my things again. Four. Uh, one. 
Wait, but if I want mirrors, then that doesn't work for mirrors. So mirrors could get me here, and then one more mirror could get there, and then if one rock golem would die... No, if the mirror were here... Ah! Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go stab this guy in this spot and see what it does for me. See, thing is, yeah, I can do that. It makes this part kind of awkward, though, because he's right on me. Okay, so I can certainly use this as a... Here's a use for that mirror, okay. Uh, it's not the most useful use because now I'm just in this situation again, but I did get you off of me there. This doesn't help me, and you're in my way, hmm. That's not helpful. Okay, this is more complicated than it looked. Or maybe it's not, and I'm just missing one small piece that would mean I have enough resources. Let's evaluate one more time. So, uh, the two paths I was seeing was two mirrors here, smash that, get all four pieces of you. So I spend two to get four. So that's a profit of two. If I spend zero, I can get three, potentially. Yeah, so why not just do that? And stick with my original plan. Okay, so mirror, mirror, in the water. One, two, uh, no, one, two, three, four. Now, those can't all be mirrors. As many as possible should be rock golems, because the mirrors are much easier to push farther. I can't pull a golem into either of these spaces, so these both have to be mirrors as far as I can see. So, one, two. This can be a golem, this can be a golem. This, I... Not easily. That should maybe be a mirror. Let's say Golem, Golem. One, two, three. Okay, so those three spots, all right? But I still have the problem of manipulating them. Okay, well, that just means I need to create some space. I can do that. I should probably bring two, since I'm going to be working with two Golems. Give them both a place to sit. Uh, how do I want to do this? I don't know. Let's just improvise. Uh, didn't improvise quite the way I was planning to, but... I mean, that's that's what improvising is. You don't make a plan, you just do it. <laughs> okay, so I got one. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's get two. I can handle two, I think. So let's see, the trick for... So trick for killing you was that. Trick for killing... One here was to already have one there. Which is totally doable, right? Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oops. Uh, wait, but that still didn't work. No, I want to instead just kill you. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Let's do this differently. I'm gonna make you a nice little home right here. It didn't work. Uh, that's fine. I'll improvise again. Nice little home, right? Uh, it still didn't work. Okay, I'll improvise again. Let's do this. Okay, now why did I want to do that? Because I wanted him coming south toward me so I can do this. There we go. Okay, now mirrors do the rest, I think. That was neat. Ooh. Uh, this architect definitely knows how to make stepping stone puzzles. This has been, that has been my favorite theme of this hold so far. Okay, and then I have a pattern here that lets me mirror both of those to where they need to go. Nice! 
I'm glad this theme is continuing. That was by far the best part of Marsh Maze. And there's more to do, and I like it. Don't think this had a purpose. Perhaps in Golem Routing if I had done it differently, but I didn't. And this is how I did it. Spiders, bye. Okay, cool. Pretty neat. I got a pretty good place there. I got a third place. I guess, yeah, those, those serpents moved themselves where they needed to go pretty quickly. Uh, this looks silly. My impression here is I want to dispense one at a time through here, then slowly make a grid pattern through there to be able to kill them in all the spaces, then pack the extras outside there. Hmm, I have trapdoors, so I'm going to have to pack them just into this space. I can only go in once and out once. Oh no. So my impression's wrong. Uh, well, partially. I think I do want exactly one here. Okay, I think I see the format of this, actually, now that I think about it. Um, what I want to do is calculate ahead carefully, get exactly the right distance. Well, I mean, it's not that complicated. It's just two extra tiles away. So, like, if I... Let's see if that's there. So I would stab my next rock giant in this spot. Bring his pieces here, here... No, no, no. In this spot. Okay, yeah, so three away. So stab, 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 and I have a way through. I, I think. That's my impression. Let's try it and see what happens. And I think the way the spiral is set up means I can pretty much just dispense them wherever I need to. This won't be the most efficient. Okay, so let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, just one, two, three, four. Right here. This is the spot I want. Stab. Stab. Uh, ooh. That's fine. Yeah, that's no, no, no problem with that. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't have to go super far away. I could go a little bit closer if I wanted. Um, let's do this the most inefficient way possible. <laughs> Best packing efficiency toward the entrance, worst uh, time efficiency. However, that's not necessarily that simple. Alright, so next spot is there. I have to turn a corner, which changes things. Possibly significantly because of you. Okay, well fine, you're, you're there now. Uh, seeing how many rock giants are there makes me think I definitely should go for the maximum efficiency here. Even if technically I don't need it. Okay, so my spot is there. Let's see if I got that right. Can I, like, shortcut this a bit? Eh, no, not really, because if I do that, you end up in the wrong place. Alright, fine. I'll do it the slow way. My calculation is correct. Okay, so same um, row or, co or column. Four ahead, so like this. So that I can save myself some counting and just just sort of do it visually. Alright, I have a pattern. I wasted one space. That doesn't count. There's no way I would ever get a rock column there. I hope wasting one space is not too many spaces to waste. Alright, the rest of this is busy work. There are ways to make my busy work a bit more efficient. I got two. Um, I was hoping I could lose one, but it looks like I can't. So careful how many you pull. Uh, so the spot is here. <laughs> you could have had a lot less rock giants, and I still would have gotten the point. This is one of those puzzles that... Definitely could have stopped a lot earlier to get the same concept. Um, now I suppose, okay, it changes slightly here. I have to turn a corner, which I think means I count to here. And turning that corner also changes the way these move. Um, I'm gonna go here. And then just kinda hope something works out. It did. All right. Yeah, I'm losing more space than I thought. I'm starting to wonder if this is going to be the death of me. The last one I can smash a bit less efficiently, I think, maybe? I hope. It does look like I have a lot more than double the th free space of the amount that those are taking up, so I should be fine, I hope. I have an extra space I can spend there. Okay. So let's smash this next one differently, then. So 
So instead of here, I'm going to go here. There we go. Uh, this space, mm, I think, is usable. Let's try it. So I'll do another three distance smash. Or two distance, or something. Anyway, one of one of these. Oops. Oh, that space is not usable. I was wrong. Okay. That's fine. I will adjust and do this instead. It looked like I could use it, but I, I could not. Of course I can't, right, because the... Um, the, the 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 live rock golems are on the opposite uh, checkerboard color as the dead ones, and can only be unless I've left a bunch of extra space. All right, so next spot is here. And then I turn a weird corner. Okay, so uh uh uh, uh here. I mean, okay, I guess if this were a lot shorter, I wouldn't have as much corner-turning complication. Still feels like this is longer than it needs to be. I'm going to keep on complaining until, as I solve the entire room. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> that was just the moment when I became aware of what I was doing. So he... One, two, three, here's the spot can just count with Bethro's body if I want. Yeah, I have plenty of space here. I have been adequately efficient. Space efficient, not time efficient. I'm already at 1,400 moves. That's a bunch. Uh, do I need to think about corner turning? I do. And that gets more frequent as the spiral narrows. So, uh, 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 uh. Ooh, uh, no. This, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, okay, hmm. I'm not so sure. Uh, let's see what happens. That one's fine, but what about this one? No. Uh, all right, well, in that case, I'll just do this. There might have been a more efficient way to do that, but... Again, I have plenty of buffer. I don't want to have to think about how far away I can start smashing these, so I'm just going to stick with my pattern. Oops. Getting out of here is going to be a bit of a finger dance. Getting in here is two. All right, with just these two left, since I can so clearly see how much space I have, uh, I'm gonna just smash you here. And just kind of improvise something because I don't want to bother with efficiency anymore. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Look at all this extra room. I could have fit like. Seven more rock golems in there if I need uh, giants in there if I needed to. Click, 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 click. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drop this last trapdoor because I can. <laughs> it would kill me if I went that way. Ninth place with over 2,000 moves. All right. A lot of other people did it that way too. Uh, do I want to do another room? No. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I have some weird time constraints at the moment. This is being done at a strange time of day. <laughs> My internet connection has been up and down uh, a lot over the last few days. And it's been a challenge to upload the things that, um, that I would normally want to upload at the appropriate times. But I think I can just squeeze this in just right so I don't have to disrupt my schedule. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> if you're seeing this uh, at the normal time, then I guess I did. Anyway, I'll see you next time for the rest of the vest. <laughs>